Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. About to break some 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box. Pick your team number 19. I've done a ton of these. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into it. On a Friday, thanks for spending part of your Friday with us on the 25th. Eight box. Pick your team 19. 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. Paul Cool Whit. With the last spot, Mojo Astros, and there's everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. This is also a superb owl promo spot for our Squares promo. You can see the Squares promo details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Two, four, six, and eight. Right there. You can kind of see them all right there. There you go. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for guys like guys like that. Either of those guys would be fine, among others. Obviously, with 19 breaks selling out, you know that everyone finds some excellent value in this break. There you go. Yeah, TJ needs some Dodger love in this. He's been chasing the Dodgers a number of times in these breaks. Not too many Dodgers in this set, TJ. But hopefully this time. Josh Proust needs some of that Fernando Tatis Jr., who I believe... Led his winter ball team to a championship. Something like that. Uh, about half an hour, Eric. Let me drop a schedule into the chat right here so you can get an idea of when we'll be ready for the next break. There you go. Only that mini helmet break is sold out, folks. After that, nothing else. Taylor, what's going on? How are you? Matthew is here. Come on, Otani, he says. You got the Angels straight up. Good luck, sir. Or, even better, what about that? Um, what about that? What about this? That Mike Trout Otani dual autograph? It's been a minute or two since we've seen a dual autograph. Liam, what's going on? All right. Good luck, kids. There's Trey Turner, 250. First auto is Nick Schnell for the Rays. Daniel Patera on the board first. Four autos a box, of course. We'll have these top loaded by our shipping team before they go out. We'll just leave them for the time being. There's Giancarlo Stanton to 150. And look at this. Nice Jonathan India Best Performers Atomic autograph. That is strong. There's the number down here. 17 out of 25 for the Red Legs. David Duffy. Nice power producers. I love these Atomics. Of course, these Atomics will ship out. It's just vet base that doesn't. There's Keston Hiuda for the Brew Crew. Chris Parent. There you go, Chris. Bowman Draft turned out great, Liam. Arthur, I see you with the Rockies. But double check your receipts, if, and let me know if you should have more teams. That's I think that's all I see you with. All right, Whit Merrifield behind Whit Merrifield is best of 2018 autograph of 
A Ant Adam Ant? No, Anthony Ziegler of the New York Yankees. Ricky Holbert. Oh, you thought it was three? I don't know. Double check your receipts, Arthur. Let me know what your teams you should have. There you go. There's your four autos right there. Royals? You have Royals too, I think. All right. Next two mini boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Mini helmets coming up after this. And then I'm sure that impeccable football break will sell out. We've got a busy night, Friday night ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. So keep it going on jazbeescasebreaks.com. See a couple orders coming in already for from Thomas and from Sean. Let's see what we can do after that. We're giving away an SB53 spot right here. Oh, and Pirates too? I see you for Rockies. I see you for Royals. Oh, yeah, I got you for Pirates too. There it is. I don't know why I missed your, missed your name for some reason. Either. All right, well, good luck, Arthur. Good luck, everybody. Is the hot stove heating up? I don't know. But some interesting news today. The Padres, I think, are exploring maybe making Manny Machado an offer. So is this the Padres front office thinking that, hey, maybe maybe they think they're closer. They're closer than, uh, than maybe the rest of the league may think. Interesting. There's Jared Kalanick, 36 out of 99. No, I, I never banned you, Arthur. I banned an imposter that was pretending to be you. So, let's clear the air on that. <laughs> Ricky Holver with the Mets. I later learned it was you. Matthew Libertor. But that's what, that's what happens. For, with, for fake names. Matt Libertor going to Daniel Patera and the Rays. Bryce Harper, Atomic. And Daniel Lynch for the Royals. There you go, Arthur. Royals. Throwing Justin Verlander around. Should be one more autograph. There's Jordan Groshans to 250. Purple Chrome, parallel. And Connor Scott for the Marlins. That'll go to Paul Coolwit. And gold, Cody Bellinger for TJ, who has my Dodgers. Five out of 50 on Cody. Nice. Karen has the uh, Blue Jays. She'll get the Jordan Groshans purple. All right, next one. According to MLBTradeRumors.com, in a report filed earlier today, the Padres have jumped into the Manny Machado Derby as a late entrant and hope to sign the four-time All-Star as their primary third baseman. Reports Kevin Acey of the San Diego Union-Tribune. While the Friars weren't one of the early mystery teams for Machado, they've recently entered the bidding given the unexpectedly quiet market for Machado to this point. The extent to which Padres are willing to go in order to sign Machado remains to be seen, though, as the Friars did just sign Eric Hosmer last year to an eight-year deal that came with a $144 million guarantee. Machado is two years younger than Hosmer. He signed the contract and, of course, has a vastly superior overall track record. Signing Machado would give the Padres a premium third baseman to pair with fast-rising prospects Fernando Tatis Jr. and Luis Urias. 
That'd be interesting. If Machado, if a Machado agreement does come to fruition, the quartet, Hosmer included, would seemingly comprise San Diego's infield of the future as both Tatis and Urias figure to receive the opportunity to cement themselves as regulars at some point this season. I think that would be a... It wouldn't be a bad move. TJ is like, I would love for the Padres to get him. Right? He would anchor that young team for a little while. It's good for the Padres organization. They're the only professional sports show in town now that the Chargers are gone. So they make a big splash, get some people out to put butts in seats, you know? It's a chill environment for Machado. Could be, that could be very interesting. What does everyone think about that? There's Jeter Downs for the Reds. David Duffy down with the Reds. Which is, yeah, TJ's like, they're this close to being very good. That's what scares me about the Padres. <laughs> I'll save one of these Otanis. Wow. And look at this. A printing plate on plate autograph. Justin Williams. Tampa Bay Rays. And that's for Daniel Patera. Nice. Daniel, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, next two autographs. It's going to be Noah Naylor is your next one. That goes to the Tribe, Ryan, with the Indians. Fernando Tatis Jr., shortstop, is he? And Luis Urias, I think, is a second baseman. That's very interesting. you got to convince... you got to convince... Uh, Machado to hang out at third, though, which I don't think he's too keen on, at least not at this stage of his career. There's Javier Baez to 99 for the Cubs. Ryan Weathers, another big prospect for the Padres. And Tristan Houses for the Red Sox. Who's got Tristan Houses? Mary with the Red Sox. There you go. So if they have, they've got Francisco Mejia as their catcher of the future, the big Indians catching prospect that they traded for uh, that reliever. And um, so they'll have Francisco Mejia as a top prospect at the plate. Hosmer is going to be there for a little while. While Luis Urias at second base, sometime at some point, well probably this season. And then Fernando Tatis Jr. will end up at shortstop at some point this season. And then Machado sitting there at third base. We've got the young and speedy Manny Margot in center field. Will Myers still patrolling left field. You got Renfro who's decent in right field. That's not a bad not very not not too shabby at all. I think Ian Kinsler is there for a little bit too. Just kind of keeping that second base spot warm. You got Joey Lucchese. And their starting pitching certainly needs some work. That's gonna be that's gonna be their uh their downfall this season anyway. But I think they've got some pitchers coming up the ranks, like yeah, like Quantrill, Ryan Weathers. They maybe need need to work on their bullpen as well. But and if they could be if they put Machado in that lineup, they're gonna they they're they're gonna score some runs. You know, I mean, they were thinking of trading for, uh, I think they were thinking of trading for Kluber, too. So if they put Kluber on top of that rotation, it would be a decent team. There's Joe Adele out of 150, big prospect. And Victor Robles, 23 out of 50. Juan with the Nationals.
Kevin Kramer. Kevin Kramer going to Arthur and the Pirates. Arthur's two out of three of Arthur's teams hitting. There you go, Arthur. There's Whit Merrifield to 250. And Ryan Rollison for the Rocks. So all of Arthur's teams hitting. Nice. And you know, where does Bryce Harper go now? No one seems like they want to spend money. Power producers, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice, 12 out of 50 for the Blue Jays. And there's Shane McClanahan for the Rays, Daniel Patera. Karen has the Blue Jays. So there's your four right there. On behalf of Jaspies, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to apologize beforehand for the the cost of the Blue Jays pick and pick your team breaks next year. You can thank this guy for that. All right. Four boxes to go. 16 autographs to go. Halfway through the break, folks. See a lot more orders coming in. Anything sold out yet? No one has given me a an update on that. A Shigon or something sold out, or I got Last Bot Mojo or something like that. No word yet. All right. Good luck. Uh, the Cubs to sign George Contos. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Rays to sign Casey Sadler. Jose Reyes, hoping to play in 2019. Oh, Impeccable sold out. Nice. So it looks like Impeccable might be, uh, might be next after the mini helmet break. Listen to this. Trade talks between the Marlins and the rival orga uh, and rival organizations regarding backstop JT Real Muto are gaining momentum. We talked about that a little bit earlier. In particular, he adds, the Padres and Dodgers are believed most prominent in the current stage of talks. Interesting. Are the Padres really going for it? Imagine if they get Machado and they move, like, catching prospect Francisco Mejia, send him, among others, to Florida, to the Marlins. So they'll have JT Real Muto and, if they get Manny Machado, and get Manny Machado. And trade for Kluber. Imagine that team. I don't as a Dodger fan. I don't like that. <laughs> nice uh, early indications. Hunter Green. Nice. That is uh, eighty-seven out of one hundred on that one. Top left corner has a serial number. That goes to the Red Legs. David Duffy. Nice. There's uh, Aramis Aidman for the Cubs. That'll be for Mary and the Cubbies. Josh is saying Padres are about to be annoying. Yeah, they, they, they might be might be bothersome. Won't be easy wins against the Padres anymore. Next up is Josh Stowers, who I believe was involved in a trade recently, no? Maybe. That still goes to the Mariners. That'll be for Brandon Thomas. Alex Rodriguez. Also for the Mariners, 13 out of 50, A-Rod. Ryan Weathers and some red. Do I see red back there? That's Ryan Weathers for Josh Proust and the Padres. 
and 7 out of 10 Noah Syndergaard for the Mets. Ricky Holder with that and Jack, Captain Jack. Jack Flaherty out of 150. All right, so we got Carl Weathers for Josh Proust and the Padres. Nice. There's the Jack Flaherty to 150 for the Redbirds. There's the gold A-Rod for the M's. And a nice 7 out of 10, Noah Syndergaard. The Mets have really, really transformed that team too. All right. Going back to the JT Real Muto story. Marlins have to move him, but they're asking for a lot. There was an early report that said the Marlins, at least from us, the Dodgers, Marlins wanted to start the conversation with, uh, with Cody Bellinger. I'm sure the Dodgers hung up the phone pretty quickly after that. We'll, we'll get back to you. Those NL West rivals, Padres and Dodgers, have long been rumored in the hunt for a player who's established himself, JT Realmuto, as the game's best receiver in 2018. With two affordable seasons of control remaining, Realmuto is one of the top prizes this, of the offseason. That has led other teams, even some with established catchers, to enter the fray as well. At this point, it's not all clear that any of the previously rumored interested parties are out of the picture entirely. Frankly, there's still little reason to believe that, it, that any given team is a favorite after months of still unresolved chatter. It is interesting, though, to see that a report of momentum coincide with this additional new bit of information. The Padres are not just interested in acquiring Riomoto's final arbitration elbow seasons. Rather, per MLB.com's John Morosi, the San Diego organization is, quote, insisting on a window to negotiate a contract extension if they are to line up on a deal with the Marlins. Interesting. Mariners, ladies and gentlemen, to, to re-sign Ichiro Suzuki. Ichiro going for 4,000 hits. Keep it going, Ichiro. Scott Kingery for the Phillies. Mary with the Phillies. There's Willie Adams to 99 for the Rays. Colton Welker for the Rockies. That'll go to AP. We've got Fernando Tatis Jr. Atomic for Josh Pruce. This guy's supposed to be the real deal. And Logan Gilbert for the M's. Third auto of four. Should be one more in here. Brandon Thomas with the M's. And it's Jesus Lazardo, 10 out of 99 for the A's. Josh Proust with the Athletics. Robert Rohr saying, Welker's supposed to be supposed to be great. Yeah, I think if you look at the Ro Rockies prospects that are coming up, they have a replacement for uh, for pretty much everybody they may lose, right? I, th I think they've got a re well. I think they got Daniel Murphy right for second base after they lost DJ Lemayhu. Um, but they've got a replacement for Trevor Story and Nolan Arenado and a couple other positions too. All right, eight autographs to go. Good luck, everybody. Cross those fingers. Hold tight to your lucky rabbit's foot.
Good luck, everyone. The Mets have definitely changed their team around. Just, just by getting Robinson Cano right there. I don't think they're done yet. Okay, so they got DeGrom, Syndergaard, and uh, Zach Wheeler at the top of that rotation. They got some catchers. They got Robinson Cano right there at second base. Got youngsters like Ahmed Rosario. Michael Conforto can hit well. Be interesting. Very interesting to see what the Mets continue to do and how competitive they'll be next year. TJ saying Nolan Arenado lifer in, in the Rocky organization. I can see that. I think Edwin Diaz is a right. That's the, yeah. That's the Mariners closer who had 57 saves last year. They added him to the back of the bullpen too. All right. There's Francisco Mejia for the Padres, purple, and for the Diamondbacks, Ricky Holbert, Alec Thomas for the Snakes. And I don't know too much about Ryan McMahon. I know he has a he has a he's good penmanship. There's Christian Villanueva for the Padres. It's another one for Josh Pruce. Might see Alex Verdugo get that starting job this year. Walker Buell, full season of him. That should be interesting. There's Grayson Rodriguez for the Orioles. That'll go to Karen and the O's. Isn't who with the Rays now, Robert? Christian Villanova? I'm not sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. Should be one more autograph. Where are Oh, there it is. It's Jose Albertos for the Cubs. Goes to Mary. Final four autographs coming up. Good luck, everyone. TJ needs that Dodger Joe Mojo. The Dodgers seem... I don't think they had a first-round pick in 2018, right? Maybe, maybe it was a low first-round pick. They don't seem to have a lot in best this year. Remember, folks, we also have the SB53 square spot to give away as well at the end of this break. All right, good luck, everybody. Final four autographs. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, the question, the baseball question of the hour, well, I'll ask it again. Where does Machado end up? Where does everyone think Machado ends up? Where does everyone think Harper ends up? It'd be kind of funny if, like, Harper ends up back with the Nationals, which actually could be possible. I think so, right? Yeah, I don't think they loaded this up with a lot of Fernando Tatis Jr. He seems like he's very he's pretty short printed. Got a redemption, ladies and gentlemen. There's Brendan Rogers.
We got Jordan Adams for the Angels. Angels auto going to Matthew S. TJ's thinking Harper goes back to the National. They offered him that original. They offered him that three hundred million dollars. Although I heard a report after that, TJ, that they said that was only the the starting offer, not their final offer, is what the GM allegedly said. There's Jose Albertos. TJ guessing Jaron Kendall. He is a redemption. Take a look. That's for Mary and the Cubs. And behind Eloy Jimenez should be... We might see him this year, too. He's, he's going to be a big name in the hobby, I think. Best of 2018 autograph of... J. E. Ren... Kendall, there you go, TJ. I have to wait to the last box, but there it is. All right, there's autograph three. One more auto coming up. Good luck, everybody. And it's Riley Adams for the Blue Jays. Karen with the Blue Birds. And there you have it, ladies and gents. Bowman's best. Pick your team number 19. In the books. Let's see who wins that SP53 spot. You know, I'm not sure if Jaron Kendall is going to be. I have not. I I must admit, he's one of the Dodgers that I don't know too much about, or one of the Dodger prospects that is. But I think he's also pretty young. I think he's still in. Oh, there you go. So TJ, like he he did a bang up job for Ranch Cucamonga, which is the 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 single A team. All right. So there's the Bowman's best list. There's everyone's names. Let's get them into this blank list. Let's randomize that list. Three and a six, nine times. Name on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Good luck. After nine times, it's going to be three, two, and one with that one. There you go. Congrats, sir. Thank you very much, everybody. Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. A lot of breaks with a lot of opportunities for these SB53 spots. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.